Jeff, I guess first we're here because of the award. Um, your thoughts on what's this your second one? Well, this is the first time they've had the the best scout in the NFL award. I'm one of many. I'm assuming. Don't exactly know how many there are, but uh, <laughs> there was a vote uh, at some point this year, and uh, I was just honored to be a, one of uh, uh, a few of these scouts. And look, it just tells you how long I've been doing it. But it's almost embarrassing because it really scouting is a collaborative effort, and I couldn't do what I do if it wasn't for my staff and and, and the scouts that support me. So um, it's really a it's really a it's a team award. Jeff, what's, what's kind of the, the key to the consistent success that, that's allowed you to you know build the reputation and, and um, exactly? Well, I think to any anybody's success and consistencies, you've had a lot of you had to make some mistakes along the way, and you've had to learn from them. And I think um, I think I've done that. You know, I've made some mistakes, and I've had some really good picks, and learned just kind of the way to do it. And I know what works and what doesn't. I kind of know what's around the corner. Um, and so I just have a pretty consistent way of doing things, and it's worked for me. And so I don't really try to um, veer too far off of that plan. Is that something that you feel like you've you've settled, or is it still an ongoing process of learning, tweaking, and? and it's always ongoing. You know, you got some young scouts in here that, that have a little different way of doing things, and I'm always open to doing things a little bit more efficiently. I want to be very intentional about how we do things. But, um, you know, if, it, if a scout has a good idea of how to do things, I'm always open to uh, changing. But uh, the main thing is, is getting the makeup of the kid right, uh, making sure the vision is accurate on how he can come in and play right away, and uh, what his upside is. Those are the three key things I look for. I guess the philosophy remains the same in terms of picking a player when you're looking for the Saints, but is the dynamic different now with a, with a different head coach? Well, I think it's going to be. I mean, obviously, we, we sat through a small window of um, meetings with Dennis. Uh, he missed maybe the first part as he was putting his staff together. But uh, Dennis and I have worked together for the last seven years, and I, I know how the great thing about Dennis is that we share a, a common vision for players. And so I know that's not going to change, it, uh, just getting him up to speed on some of the offensive players that are on the board. Um, but I think he likes the way we come to a, uh, a collaborative effort on players and the evaluation of that. And so um, that won't change too much. How easy does that make the transition to have somebody who already understands the inner workings and that you've already worked with? Uh, it's extremely important to have a relationship with the person that's in charge of the, the team. Um, <laughs> you know, so look, we have, again, we have a shared vision for the players. He understands what I'm trying to do. I understand where he's going, where he's coming from. And uh, that relationship is strong, along with Mickey and our staff. Just, just having that familiarity with everybody is, uh, is very key. What are some of the things that stand out to you about this job class as you guys kind of stuck into the, uh, the heavy process here? Just the pure numbers. I think we're about 700 players uh, in addition to last year's draft class. So um, that doesn't necessarily mean it's all at the top of the draft. Um, but there's 700 additional players in our pool of players additional to what it was last year. So um, that's the big thing. They'll uh, kill me if I don't ask you what you think about the receivers uh, specifically in this draft class. It's a good class. Yeah, it's a good class. Um, you know, there's, 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 there's always receivers and every round and every – expectation of the draft there's receivers everywhere so and this 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 draft's no different I, I got one more just over the years is anything changed about like how you guys prototype like how does that change on a year-to-year -year basis because like players have gotten you know bigger some places smaller others how does that alter how you guys go about doing that well the prototypes change year to year and it changes from position to position sometimes staff to staffs um, I just told Dennis though and then kind of re redo some minimum standards for some defensive positions that uh, that he has a certain opinion about. But um, it changes from year to year. We always change it. We always update it based on it comes. It starts with, you know, uh, players at that position, starters at that position around the league. We start with that prototype, and then we, we, we lower the standards subjectively, to be honest with you. Is there any, like, if linebackers change a lot over the years? Linebackers have gotten smaller yeah. and faster. Does that change how you look at offense? Like Certainly. more power on offense to go to counter? Yeah, you're trying to match and marry the, uh, the, the you know, what, what teams are playing with. And uh, it's really about winning our division and matching up against our division, not just, not, not just uh, over, over, overwhelmingly around the league. It's just 
this is our division, and let's go win our division, and let's match up against our opponent. So, like, if the Falcons have big receivers, you're looking to get big, big corners. corners. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. Yeah. yeah. All right, guys.